addition and subtraction problems. Okay. This is the packet that tells us the questions. We're going to work through them together, a couple of them. The paper, the paper that is two-sided, you'll see that there are letters in the corners, the upper and left-hand corners. That tells you what letter goes with the problem. And you'll see in the left column, it says, it says workspace slash answer. And on the right column, it says equations. So this is going to be where you record your final work. And then, but you can still show your work on the packet, okay? All right, so this first problem, this is an I do. So we're going to watch, okay? Grandma made 24 gingerbread cookies and 36 sugar cookies. Then she and her grandchildren ate nine cookies. How many cookies are left? So when I read through this, I am going to underline the information I know. So she made 24 cookies, okay, and 36 cookies. Then she and her grandchildren ate nine. So I see three numbers right there that I know I'm going to be dealing with. We'll take them. And then the question is asking me, how many cookies are left? This is my question. How many cookies are left? Now, the first step, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Hold on, remember this is an idea. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna move my lines a little bit. Okay. Step one, I'm gonna read through and see which, what? Oh, did you not have made 24 cookies, 24 gingerbread cookies, and 36 sugar cookies. So, step one, I'm going to put 24, and then my second number was 36. She made 24 gingerbread cookies and 36 sugar cookies. This step is asking me to add these numbers together. So, I'm going to find out how many cookies she has so far. Now, I'm going to put my work right here, or you guys can draw it out too, whichever one you're more comfortable with doing. Okay? So, everyone, what is 4 plus 6? 10. ten. ten. Can I write 10 here? No. 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 Oh, on the top. Thank you. So, I put my 0 here to represent that, and then I carry my 10. My one. Yes. So, we have 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6. six. So, so far, how many cookies does she have all together? 60. So make sure everyone's following along and writing this down on your paper. So we have 24 plus 36 equals 60 so far. Okay. Then, so this paper tells me it has a step two. So, so right now, I know that I'm still needing information. says, so then, the problem says, then she and her grandchildren ate how many cookies? Nine. nine. So, if her grandchildren ate nine, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, 60. Thank you for catching me. See? That's why I asked you guys to have my back all the time. All right, so she has nine cookies that were eaten. Am I going to take nine away from 36? No. No, I'm going to take nine away from 60. Because that's how many cookies she made. So 60 minus 9, okay, equals, now let's do this because we're careful. Can I take 9 away from 0? No. no. I need to regroup. Thank you, Lily. So I go to my closest neighbor. So I go here, and I, that 6 becomes a what? 5. A 5, thank you. Which actually is how many? 50. 50. Careful, 50. This is actually 50 because it's in the tens place. So then this becomes a what? 10. ten. So what's 10 minus 9? One. 1. 5 minus 0? 5. See why you need to check your work? I did. Okay? So 60 cookies were made, and then her and her grandchildren ate 9. So how many cookies are left? 51. 51 cookies. 51 cookies. Okay? So make sure you're following me along with me, and you're writing this down. You can also put that way. Thank you. All right, quickly figure out and put it down. 
We're going to move on to the next one. Okay. So everyone go to the next page. Okay. Everyone should be on the page that has the letter B. Thank you. 
in the store now. Can someone tell me what I need to do first, slowly? Thank you. So Lily told me I need to underline the important information first. So can someone tell me the first bit of important information that I need to underline? Kevin, thanks for being brave. What do I need to do? Thank you. 54 customers are in a store. What's the next bit of information, Jordan? 17 customers. 17 customers what? Leave. Leave. So I'm going to stop right there. Because we have a step one and our paper tells us that we also have a step two. So Hezekiah, can you tell me what my equation is going to be? What's my number sentence? Thank you. 54 minus 17. Now, why did you say it was subtraction, Hezekiah? Because 17 customers left the store. So we are taking those customers out of the store. So we have 54 minus 17. So let's figure that out. So 54 minus 17. Can we take seven away from four? No. No. So what do we need to Regroup. do? Regroup. So I come over here to my neighbor. That's what does four. this become? A four, four, which actually represents 40. 40. Thank you. So the 14 becomes 14. 14. 14. So I didn't say say thank you. The four becomes 14. 14. 14 take away seven. 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 Okay. Four take away one. Three. Three. So how many customers are left in the store? 37. 37 customers are left in the store right now, okay? I'm going to move my paper a little bit to make it fit the page. So we are ready for step two, okay? So right now I'm going to take the time to rewrite my sentence. So we had 54 customers at the start. How many left again? 17. Careful. How many customers left the store? 17. How many are left inside the store? 37. 37. There we go. Okay. Let's see that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You're right. I like that. Thank you. Okay. So can someone tell me the next step? What is the next sentence? David, what is my next thing I need to do?
nearest neighbor and regroup. This becomes a two. Two. Thank you. I need everyone to stay with me. So all I should be tracking the board. Thank you very much. So this becomes a what? Ten. Ten. Ten, Ten take away six. Four. 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 Two minus one. One. How many people ate turkey? Está grabando. 